G'day everyone, welcome back to the Fisherman's Office. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name's Lee and I do videos just like this gear one and uh, the fishing videos to help get you inspired to you know, get out and chase some fish. So without further ado, we'll get into this one. This is the first look video, guys, of a new Dobbins Fury rod that I bought. Um, just today, actually, I picked it up. Haven't had a chance to use it on the water yet, but I'm really, really looking forward to. I bought another Dobbins rod um, another Fury series rod in a bait caster, which is just behind me there, um, for specifically for jigging and uh, for spinnerbait and, and chatterbait use and stuff like that. Now this is a six foot six, so a little bit shorter rod, um, six foot six, um, four to 10 pound, one eight to three eight ounce cast weight, light, fast action. So you've got a really nice tip. Um, that six foot six size, as I've said in other videos, is probably my go-to size. I really like that length. Um, it's got a really nice short butt section here. So up in the kayak, uh, I think this is going to be really, really nice to use. So um, the previous rod that this replaces, uh, the TD Hyper that I had, was a seven foot rod. A little bit lengthier uh, and a longer butt section. Um, still a great rod. I, I highly recommend that for anyone. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is just a little, just taking a few things out of what I learned from having a hyper, uh, and just going uh, down a little bit of a different road. So I think a shorter butt section is just going to be easier, um, in the yak, um, to, you know, have, you know, for casting and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty, it's pretty sweet. Again, a little bit shorter in length as well. So, um, I'll be able to sort of rest it on the kayak and not have so much tip hanging off the edge and into the kayak and stuff like that. So it should be a little bit easier to, you know, not snap and not break the tip off and things like that, uh, when I'm in the kayak. So yeah, that's why I got this one guys, um, up, upscaling on the quality a little bit in terms of the, of the rod itself. Um, love the cork handle, um, I love cork handles. I just can't get away from them, really. Um, EVA foam is nice as well, but yeah, I don't know something about cork. I just, I just really like it. Um, yeah, that green and black did me in again. <laughs> the guys that hook up and bait and tackle know exactly what I, <laughs> what makes me tick now. Uh, just show me shiny black and green stuff, and and I'll buy it basically. Um, so yeah, pretty sick. Really keen to see this one. A uh, bit of a shorter video, this one, guys. So uh, hopefully next video um, I can get out with this and uh, get onto some top water bass with this rod. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway, guys, and enjoyed the first look at it. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. And um, if you want to know any more about this rod or any other questions or anything like that, drop them down in the comments, of course, as, as always. Thanks so much, guys. Just keep flicking.